Hi guys, welcome to Reen's Place. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing this video today, and it's a, a recipe that I've already made a video of, but I just wanted to tell you, um, over the weekend I did that long chicken palooza, like two or three days worth of meal prepping and stuff like that, and this is just the reason why I do it. A friend of my husband's from work, his brother-in-law passed away suddenly, and uh, he was sick, but you know they didn't expect it this soon. And um, I just want to make a quick casserole just to send over because they were doing arrangements today and I, I'm sure that they're just like bone tired. So I'm just going to quickly make a casserole. All these things are from my pantry. I have egg noodles, the french fried onions, always, 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 cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, always in my, in my thing. I have some onion soup mixes. I have some cheddar cheese and sour cream in the fridge. I have the water on right now to boil. And if you remember during Chicken Palooza, I have my cooked chicken all ready for my casserole. So four cups of chicken that I would have had to spend an hour baking in the oven and then shredding. It's already done. So I'm going to put this together so that when my husband gets home from work, he can bring it over to his friend's house. Um, I'll be back with you after the noodles boil and I'll show you. Okay, so I have the four cups of chicken in here. I lightly salt and peppered them. Um, I'm going to do a carton and a half of sour cream. So a 16 ounce and then another 8 ounces. This is the um, 8 ounces right here. I'm going to put one and a half packages of the onion soup mix. So I'm just stirring um, the onion soup mix into the sour cream just to make it a little easier and mix it, you know, better. Like I said, this is so simple. If you have the items in your pantry already, and I like the prepared chicken, oh my God, so easy. You can also do, the original recipe that I did for this, it had, um the French onion dip that you buy, like it's French onion, like potato chip dip that you buy in the dairy section. And it was good, but I still had to add onion soup mix to it. And I feel like this is just a stronger, better flavor, so that's what I went with. I'm going to add another um, full 16 ounce container of sour cream, but I had Chuck stop on the way home to grab that for me. He's on his way now. And also to grab some additional cheddar cheese because um, although I have enough according to the recipe, I don't have enough according to how I like to make it. So into here, I'm going to put um, the two cans of cream of chicken soup. I have some YouTube videos on in the living room on the TV. That's probably what you hear. It's a Christmas video. Okay. okay, so to this, this is just my little thing I do with the chopped meat, and it was so easy just to break apart the chicken, so that's what I did. And then it says, I believe it's a cup or a, I don't remember, it's a cup of cheddar, this is probably closer to two. But I like it very cheesy. I just feel like it's comfort food and, you know, the more the better at this point. So I'm going to just mix this up right now just to get it incorporated. When Chuck gets home, I'll add the other ingredients to it. I'm going to throw the noodles in here. Um, I cook the noodles according to package directions, kind of. So the package directions say seven to nine minutes. I cook them for six whenever I make them for a casserole. Only because um, if they're slightly al dente, when you put this into the oven to warm it up, they're going to cook a little more. And so you don't want them to be mushy. I don't like a mushy noodle at all. Okay, so this is ready. Watch out. I'll throw the noodles in. And that's just a, a pound of medium egg noodles. So four cups of chicken. Um, I like it, again, I like mine extra creamy. So that's why I'm putting extra sour cream in. It only calls for one 16-ounce container. But I like to do the 
um, container and a half. There is a fly in my house that is driving me out of my mind. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I have to, um, I'm going to put some additional sour cream and, and cheddar cheese in here. And then I'll transfer it to the baking dish. I'm just covering this because, like I said, there is a fly in my house. And Chuck should be home in the next, like, 15 minutes or so. So we'll get that all together. I'll put directions on it, and he'll bring it on over. And this is a huge bowl, but I just like a big bowl when I'm mixing. So let me um, stop this now, clean up a little bit, and I'll come back when I have the rest of my ingredients, and we'll put it together and wrap it up. Okay, guys, I'm back. Chuck just got home from work. He stopped at the store for me on his way home. Let's get this casserole finished so he can get deliver it. I'm adding um, another 16-ounce container of sour cream. You only need 16 ounces, but again, I like mine extra creamy, and I feel like it's just more comforting that way. And then when you heat it up, it also, um, I mean, maybe they won't eat this today. Maybe they'll heat it up tomorrow, and it's nice to have the extra sauce in it. He also bought me a big bag of cheddar cheese. Give me a nice big old helping of that in there. Let's stir this around and see how it looks. Now remember, I did the um, I did the onion soup in here already with the cream of chicken and the other uh, eight ounces of sour cream. And I just know that this is like comfort food. It's yummy. It's warm, and it tastes good. And it's so easy, like literally, you just pop it in the oven. Okay, and now when you cook this, all that sour cream and stuff is going to melt together and it'll be um, even more even looking, if you will. Okay, so this is a real big bowl. I'm going to um, get this in the casserole dish and then I'll show you how we top it off. I'll be right Okay, I got it, all of it into the into the pan. I sprayed the pan with a little um, baking spray, and now I'm just going to top it all with the French fried onions. The recipe originally that I got it from said um, a cup of onions. I feel like just cover it up as much as you like. In my opinion, the more the better. This is what makes it taste like French onion casserole to me. So. Oh, I can't open this. So this whole thing took me literally about 20 minutes to put together from start to finish, maybe less, because um, I just boiled the noodles six minutes. Um, I got the chicken out of the freezer, and I hit the defrost button on my microwave for probably like two minutes. And then I broke it up with that little powder thing I had and everything else I had in my pantry. So I'm going to wrap this in foil. And I'm going to put the um, directions on how to warm it up. I'm just going to write them right on top of it. It's going to be warm in a 375 oven for... Um, it's going to be uncover and, uh, and bake in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 40 minutes just until it's um, bubbly and golden brown. So I'm going to um, write the instructions on that and have Chuck deliver that to his friend and hopefully um, you know it'll make this time a little bit easier for them. Alright guys I just wanted to show you with meal prep how something you know you could do something nice for a friend or a neighbor um, you could make a quick dinner for your family if you don't have anything in mind. All you need is some staples in your pantry and, um, you know, some prepped cooked meat. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that red subscribe button. See you soon.